B&M, or Bullet Door and Mabillard, is a roller coaster manufacturing company that is known to make safe and reliable roller coasters. Although B&M has many creative roller coaster models, like the wing coaster, the dive coaster, and many other different types of models that were different from all the other roller coasters at the time, does B&M have an end in the near future of their innovative new roller coasters? But before we get any further into the video, I just want to introduce myself. If you haven't been to my channel already, I am Element of the Ride, and if you have, welcome back to another video. Um, as I said in my last video, I will be doing, well, I asked for suggestions on which roller coaster manufacturer to talk about, but I wish I just started off with B&M, and so this is the video for B&M. And let me know down in the comments which one you want to see next, now that you know how the video is going to be set up and how you like what it will look like. So let me know which manufacturer I listed in my previous video, which one you want to see in the next video. So yeah, like I was saying, B&M has made very innovative, unique roller coasters that are very, very reliable. And one of the main points I need to state is that B&M was not much of a risk taker. And if they were, they were in their early stages of their manufacturing business. But B&M has come a long way from where they started. But their first roller coasters being some of the stand-ups, like Firebird, at Six Flags whatever park, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the Six Flags, so this this roller coaster on the screen, that that one, it is one of their first roller coasters, so yeah, um, they've come a long, long way from that old jinky roller coaster to something like Fury, for example. Fury is arguably the best B&M roller coaster on the planet. After coming from the old stand-up model, like whatever that roller coaster, wherever it was, you know, that the one before this, um, to Fury 325, they have come a long, long way, and they have very much improved on their roller coasters to be high quality and very, very, very good rides. But the one thing about being in is that. While their rides were good, they didn't have that thing that just made them stand out from any other ride, any other roller coaster. They more of uh, took it slow and reliable and just threw a few elements in there. Gave them the park a smooth new roller coaster, but nothing that would stand out and make them more innovative than they were in their early years. But don't get me wrong. B&M roller coasters are very, very good rides, reliable, and smooth. But when you think about it, Maverick or any other roller coaster, I'm just using Maverick for example, it has, like, it was the first thing, first of all, it ended the coaster wars, it, the launch is amazing, the drop is amazing, the airtime hell is amazing, everything about Maverick was amazing and it made it stand out. B&M roller coasters, they, they were good, they just didn't have anything that made them stand out, that when you got off it, you're like, oh my goodness, that is like the best roller coaster in the world because of this. Not any B&M, maybe the exception of Fury 325. Not any B&M is gonna be, oh my goodness, that was amazing. But my point being... Like I said, nothing makes them stand out, meaning they're not really getting more progressive, they're just making rides. And eventually, all the parks are going to have good rides, or other manufacturers are going to be producing better rides, and B&M is stuck with their original models, which are very, very good, but don't really give that 
that just amazing element on the ride. Um, so they're not, they're slowly gonna fade and lose popularity. And it's, it's not gonna be like a quick two year thing, it's gonna be slow and over time they're just slowly gonna get maybe a couple decades. But back to now and why BNM might have a near end in the future. BNM hasn't made any new roller coaster models. And while the surf coaster was talked about, was rumored, that is not coming anytime soon, in my opinion. It, it could, but I don't think it is. And I think the surf coaster would be a great model for BNM and bring them back from nearing the end to back to like the best time they have ever had in the roller coaster industry giving them lots of good business and good ride experiences, I think that could bring B&M back. Because the only two launches on B&M roller coasters is Thunderbird at Holiday World and the Hulk Coaster or whatever, Islands of Adventure, I think. But my thinking coasters, multi-launch coasters, um, unique roller coasters that are a few to none that in the world and maybe be innovative and create something that has never been seen before that would bring them back up in popularity and bring their company back up. But I think they're going to have to do more unique coasters and more launch coasters for them to keep up with the coaster industry and, you know, keep up with, keep modern with their roller coasters and keep producing and keeping a good company. So, if they were to do unique coasters, I think they would totally, um, like, be known and well as the roller coaster company that manufactured, like, best rides, you know, everything. But if they stay on the track they are and they just keep doing their normal inverts, like hyper coasters, I have a feeling that they're, again, slowly going to come to an end. But who knows what the future has to hold for us because B&M could make some unique roller coaster, unique roller coaster designs and be innovative in the roller coaster industry again. And, you know, until that day, we have all these amazing B&M roller coasters to ride without having to worry about the end near. But, it is a thought. So, if you like this video, like down below, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Go watch some other videos, and I highly suggest going to watch my previous video where I talked about my favorite manufacturers. And... If you like this type of video, comment down below which manufacturer you want to see next. That is all. Have a good day. This is Element.